y'all. This is Brandy, otherwise known as Mystery Diamonds, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey, y'all. Okay, so I have a Diamond Art Club sneak peek. I am so excited because this one is for the Chinese New Year, and y'all know, y'all know, this year is the Year of the Dragon, and on the Chinese Zodiac, and I am a dragon girl. So, I was so excited when I got shown this and asked if I wanted to show it, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I voted for this one. I'll just tell you, I voted for all the ones that came out for this artist. So I am super excited to show you what I've got. So let me get in here and let's see what we got. So this is everything that you get inside of your Diamond Art Club um, kit. You get your canvas, which is this wonderful feeling, only unique to Diamond Art Club tarpaulin canvas. Uh, you also get drills, you get a toolkit, a pamphlet, your big sticker sheet, and your little sticker sheet. I always use my little sticker sheet on the outside of my boxes. Um, you can use it for your logbook or, you know, whatever you want to use yours for. It's personally what I use mine for. Okay. <laughs> I want to go ahead and say, um, um, at the time of filming right now, I do have little ones that are up and may make noise. So, uh, hopefully, please forgive any sounds that you hear. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you gotta film when you can. Uh, y'all wanna see what I got? Oh my god, I am so excited! So, I have Little Cooks by Christina Yen. Y'all look at them! <gasps> look at those cute dragons! I love it! Oh my god, I cannot wait to actually see this one! So, this is a square. It is an 84 by 65. It has 62 colors. Now, with Diamond Art Club, if this number is up underneath the number 150, it's an AB. So, we have one, two, we have two ABs. And then we go down here to the bottom. I see if we have anything special. We have Z726, Z739, Z3822, and Z3836. So we have four fairy dust. We have two ABs, which looks to be greens, and we have four ABs, three which look to be green, and one that looks to be purple. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see this. Now, this entire thing is a sticker sheet. Uh, this is the one I put in my logbook, because I can put my start, my end date. These stickers do peel off so that you can put them on your containers when you're kidding up. Okay, so the other stuff that we get... I'll get into the toolkit in just a minute. You do get a pamphlet that tells you, you know, thank you. It tells you what else in your kit. Um, tips and tricks. You have a thank you code. Uh, if you've never diamond painted before and you would like a video tutorial, they do. If you scan this QR code, you will get a uh, video tutorial. And, um, you know, when you're in, you get your very first diamond art club. You can join your, uh, the VIP Facebook group, which is awesome. People there can really help you with a lot of different questions. You have your step-by-step -step instructions in here. Now, this pamphlet is not the only way that you can get a discount. There is a discount on your canvas. There's a discount on your shipping label. And as long as you have your regular box, there is a discount code on your box as well. Now, what if you have never purchased from Diamond Art Club? You are going to have all that. So that's okay. I got you covered. I got you covered. You can use one of two of my codes. You can use Mysteria10, which will get you $10 off your very first purchase. Or you can use Mysteria15, and that'll get you 15% off your first purchase. So it's whichever one's going to save you the most amount of money. Oh, okay. So while I am getting this toolkit out, um, so this is being released on Monday. It is a Chinese New Year drop. Um, and so it is being released on Monday. Um, and I believe there's just going to be one general release. Um, and what that is, is that it'll be general release will be nine o'clock AM Pacific standard time, which is 12 PM Eastern standard time. So there's just one, uh, release and oh my God, I'm with it being the drag year of the dragon. I am like, I'm so excited, but also so nervous to see what everything is coming out because Guys, you know I'm going to want the dragons. I'm going to want the dragons. Okay, so in your toolkit, you get a bag of baggies. You get a pen and a squishy. Now, yours may be a different color than mine. You will get a boat that has a uh, stopper in it so that it kind of 
can help you uh, keep your drills in there. You will get two multi-placers. You'll get a thin four, a thin seven placer. Um, you will get a heart caddy that has two heart waxes in it. Now, if you are new and you have not diamond painted before, you want to pay attention. There is plastic that is on the front and back of these, so you're going to want to peel that off so that you can get your pin in there. Get it all nice and go back. You, and this is uh, a square, and so because it's a square, you will get the Stabby McStabberson tweezers. This is actually what I do my square diamond paintings in, so I love the fact they have those. And then you're also going to get a good cover minder and a washi tape. Now, your cover minder will probably be different from mine. I have this beautiful turquoise rose. And if you don't know what a cover minder is, it has these two magnets. So you put this one on the front. So like you pull back your plastic and you put this one on the front of the canvas and you put this one go up underneath the canvas and it went, well, if the, you know, because <laughs> that happened. So I think about magnets is that they have one side that attracts and one side that repels. And when you're trying to put the magnet on and you hit the side that repels, it goes away from you. Physics. Um, well, I will go find that magnet later, but as long as you have the, the side that attracts, you're going to be able to get it to attach to that canvas. Oh, I love how stuff just happens when I'm trying to film. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I promise you just, just watch out. If you start feeling resistance, turn the, turn the magnet over. And then you also get a good deal of washi tape. This happens to be my pattern. All right. So let me put this up and then we will get into seeing the canvas. Okay, I am so ready to see these guys. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure out the right direction for them. Oh, oh, look at these little cooks. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get this where you can see the whole canvas. So there is your whole canvas. Look at those precious babies. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Let me get it where I can uh, get a little bit more comfortable. See, I'm kind of short. And so when I'm trying to get it where I can get it up to see a full canvas, I have to get on my little tippy tippy toes. So I wanted to get it back down where I can see it. But look at these guys. You got this one and they're cutting the cheese. And this one is heating up the sauce. And that one's uh, stirring the sauce. This one's got his mouth with the chips going on here. Looks like he's already ready to dip some chips and cheese. That one's just taking a little nap and nap on the potatoes and that one over there. Um, it looks like he's trying to, I am thinking he's trying to add maybe dumplings or they almost like marshmallows, but I don't know what they are, but they're in the kitchen and they're doing some cookie cooking. Oh my gosh. And look, you even have like a little, um, a little dragon face right there oh my god y'all i voted for all of her artworks because i am obsessed with these little baby dragons they are just oh my god okay so let's get into the drills and then we're gonna see where all of our special stuff goes Something that Diamond Art Club does that I really, really enjoy is that they put the name of their canvas on their drills so that if you are someone who likes to store your canvases separate from your drills, you'll easily be able to match the drills and your canvas. Um, personally, I keep mine in my boxes, but that's just because for me, if I separate them, I'm never going to find them. Like, even though they've done this, it's not that I won't find which set of drills is that I won't find the drills, period. Because somehow in my craft room, when I am trying to find something, there's like a black hole that opens up and just takes my stuff. And then it'll show up when I'm not looking for it. Um, but usually if I'm wanting it, it's like, no, no. So I don't know where the black hole is. Uh, it seems to switch, and but it takes my stuff. It even takes one sock. And it's not the dryer for me. It's my room. Um, just takes my stuff. All right. So y'all ready to go down to Crinkle Town? I am so ready. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, four fairy dust, y'all. That's going to be so exciting. Oh, curious to see how much we have of each thing. Okay. So, oh, well, that's already, that's already just right there for us. Okay. So let me go ahead 
and give my little spiel. Whenever I go through the drills, I do this thing called chipmunk mode. What it is is that I speed up the uh, film and it makes me sound like a chipmunk hits chipmunk mode. Um, and if you are not a fan of chipmunk mode, that is perfectly okay. You can mute the video and just watch the colors go by. Or you can fast forward until chipmunk mode is over. How will you know when it's over? During chipmunk mode, I have a little picture of a chipmunk up here in the corner. And when it is over, chipmunk mode, chipmunk is gone out of the corner. And you know chipmunk mode is over. All right. But for everybody else, chipmunk mode activated. Okay. So we're just going to start with this little guy who's already up on his own. And it is a special. It said, it said we're so special that we got to be first. So this is Z3822. I thought it was a green, but this is a yellow. So... Fairy dust, I don't know how well this color is going to show, but there is what looks to be glitter on the top, but it's not. It's a mica powder that is in there that just gives these an ethereal shine. So we have a, you know, there's, there's a few in there. Okay, so let's put that aside. Let's go ahead and get this one. All right, so now we're, you can see that this has a lot of browns and golds. Okay, so we're going to see a lot of brown and gold. So we have 310, uh, 782, there's two of those. 801, there's one, two, three, four. Am I right? One, two, three. Yep, so there are four of this 801. 3371, I call this like the dark chocolate because that is a dark, dark brown. We have one, two, three of those. 400 brown, we have one, two of those. 829, we have one, two, three, four of those. 780, this has a little bit of a sienna color. Uh, so 780, I have one, two, three of those. Uh, 3857, I don't know if there's another 3857. I'll keep an eye out for it uh, just in case there. Hello, give me the, give me the numbers. We have 3820, that is like a mustardy color. 898, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 of those. 783, 300, there's 1, 2, 3 of those. 729, um, that's, that's a pretty brown. Uh, it's a light brown. Then we have 731, uh, seven, so, mm -hmm, see, here's my dyslexia, y'all. I meant, we have 371. <laughs> see, my, uh, from time to time, my dyslexia just kicks in and goes, what number are you talking about? 371, uh, we have 612, 581, look at that green. 3864, that's like a taupe color. Ooh, this is pretty blue. 3750. 3852, there's two of those. 680, there's two of those. 3821, okay. So those are our big trains. So now we're getting into our medium train. We have 3782, 937, 3790, 3826, 842, 301, 3032, 166. Ooh, look at that vibrant green. 327, 918, 823, which is like a dark blue. 3835, 936, 3842. Okay, here is another one of our fairy dust, Z739. It's like a cream color. So that's going to be pretty. 935, 922, 844, 741, 3799. All right, now to our baby train. So, so far we've seen two fairy dust. So we've got two more fairy dust and two ABs to go. So we have 336, 3776, 470. All right, here is our third uh, fairy dust, which is this bright yellow, 726. 3765, I, I swear I can tell numbers. I promise I know it don't sound like it, but I really can. 920, oh, and there is our AB, which is a little bit of our green. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It means it has this iridescent coating on the top here. So it shines all different kinds of pretty, pretty colors. So we do have this greenish color. 517, 834, 740, 3760. Here is our last of our fairy dust, which is purple. You know, we only have one purple dragon in there, so I'm kind of imagining this is probably on highlights on him. 413, and then there is our last... Um, AB, which is 129. There's just a little bit of that. It's like a, a light yellow. 165, 402, 317, 3855, 807, and 414. Okay, so let me put these up so that we can take a look and see where do these go. Okay, so that yellow AB, that light yellow AB is going right here. There's not a ton of places that it is, but it's right there. It's going on the highlight of the pan. It's going in the center of the flame here. You have some on the knife edge where it gleams. Uh, you do have some in the eye. There's a speck in this one's eye. Uh, it's in this one's eye. And I think that's it for the number one. Now, the number two AB, um, it's that green. And we only have one green dragon. So, it is kind of in different parts. Like, just kind of uh, scattered around different parts of the uh, green dragon. We've got it here, 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 here. So, we do have it at different points here on this green dragon. 
Okay, next up is going to be the yellow, I think it's the brighter yellow um, fairy dust. That's the letter J. And where you see some of these brighter uh, yellow colors here, that's going to be that J. So we have some going here. We have some on the highlight of here. Um, J is actually in this dragon's eye. We have a little bit, see where it's um, highlighting, like where the light is hitting this stove. Right here on the edge, going down of that highlight. In here, uh, in the flame, where it wasn't AB, it's the uh, fairy dust. Also right here. Uh, it's lining this mouth because since it's flame, it's wanting to accentuate the fact that we have those right there. It's going here. It's on the tip of the wing here. It's on the edge of highlighting that cheese. And it's also highlighting here in this pot. Okay, that kind of creamy-ish light teal not teal topish um fairy dust that one is going to be here in your little i don't know maybe dumplings uh right here on the edge and they definitely are going all throughout uh our chef hat and our white dragon cream dragon so it they are in different spots going all throughout that dragon and if you thought that only the front uh, you know the top part of this was going to get some love no 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 they also wanted to give some of oh there's some more of that uh bright yellow fairy dust but we also have what's in the shape of a heart which is uh, another yellow fairy dust we have that going um, on the cheese parts right here. So the light parts of your cheese. So we're getting some, there's, there's some love and in this, uh, eye right here, there's, there's, there's some of that love as well. And we knew we only had a little bit of that purple fairy dust and we only have one thing that's purple on here. And so that is here. It's different spots. Um, going along this uh, on the dragon head. Um, so that is everything. And I got so excited showing y'all everything. I, lo I lost a nail. I'm not sure where exactly I lost it. So um, we're, we're going to look. Maybe I put it in with the drills, but we will figure out where it went. See, see, they just got me all excited. They got me all excited. So this is all that I have for you. Um, oh, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I meant to tell you, I wanted to show you all some different parts of the canvas. So this has a scalloped and surged edge so that it prevents your canvas from fraying. And Diamond Art Club's drill field, I wanted y'all to get a chance to see that. Look how gorgeous it is. Like I can always, always tell from the drill field. And now we have, whoops, now we have, uh, these are thicker plastic and they are, um, sectioned so you can just uh, perforate it you can peel off and just start working on your canvas and you can peel off whatever size um that is that you want to do if, if one square is too small we'll go for two um but i i love that they started putting that in there because i do section off my canvases okay so now that is everything um, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. It greatly helps the channel. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe, become part of my crazy diamond family, join the crazy that is me that sometimes has, you know, nails just pop off in the middle of a video. Um, <laughs> but come and join me. I'd love to see you guys here. Just make sure you hit that bell icon for all notifications. That way, you know, anytime that I'm live or anytime that I upload a video, I'd love to see you guys here. All right. I'm going to leave you like I always do. Reach for the stars, grab hold, hold on, and never let go. Until my next video, bye guys.